Hey Body Rockers, I'm Edith and I'm going to be your personal trainer for the next month on this beginner's challenge. Thank you so much for joining us. Actually, thank yourself. Um, this is where we start. Now, I've designed this program for true beginners in mind. If you've never really been into fitness and you're just starting out or you've been out of the gym for a while, this program is for you. We're going to build um, on your fundamentals, make sure you're moving right before we get into the more crazy things, okay? I just want to stress even if you can only do one rep of a particular exercise, it's 100% better than doing nothing at all. And tomorrow you're gonna to do two reps and that's gonna be 200% better. So just keep going, do what you can. If you need to take down the intensity a bit and have a longer break or just jog on the spot for a while, that's totally good. Now the workout's only half the battle. Um, there's also the nutrition side. So I hope you follow along the, with the nutrition guide that comes along with the program. Um, the nutrition guide comes with a weekly grocery list, everything you should be buying. And you have daily recipes of everything that you should be eating to support your, your workout uh, efforts. Um, okay, we've got options for meat eaters, vegans, vegetarians. Um, so lots of options, lots of, yeah, lots of variety. You can mix this stuff up. And all the recipes are super easy to prepare. Um, so we've got you covered there. So I hope um, you'll join us on this challenge um, and this is the start of your fitness journey. Hey Body Rockers, welcome to day one. We're about to get started. Now you should have done your warm up already. If you haven't, click the link below. Do your warm up, it's 10 minutes long. Um, super, super important. Don't skip it, especially if you're a beginner. Um, but once you've done it, let's get started. So today's, today's wor uh, workout is cardio. It's just a light cardio. We have five exercises. Each exercise we're gonna do for 40 seconds. Then you get a 20 second break and we're gonna do two rounds of that. So the whole workout is 10 minutes long also. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll get my interval timer going. And here we go. The first one is just a nice, easy jog on the spot. So we're just gonna be jogging easy on the spot. It doesn't have to be too strenuous, okay? We're starting off easy and we'll, we'll bring up the intensity in time. Um, now the kind of intensity you're looking for, you, you wanna feel your heart rate elevate a little bit. You wanna be a little bit out of breath, but you should still be able to carry on a conversation. Um, I think a mistake, uh, a misconception many people have is no pain, no gain. Like the, the workouts have to be awful and you have to suffer. It's not true. It doesn't have to be so intense, especially if you're just starting out, you know? These things are effective. Okay, we've got 10 seconds left here. Then we've got our little 20 second break coming. Anyone can do this? Rest. Excellent. Good, so you should feel a little something there. Um, if you need to take longer breaks, take longer breaks, no shame in that. Okay, we're starting again in about five seconds. With high knees, here we go. go. Clap here, clap under, up. Okay, now get those knees up and use your abs to engage those, uh, to bring your legs up, okay? This is a full body uh, warm up. You're, you're working your shoulders here, you're getting some movement in your upper back. Um, just keep, try to keep up the pace a little bit. If you need to slow it down, slow it down, speed it up, do that too. And also this, this might seem like a pretty easy exercise, but if you do it like you mean it, you can, get the, you can make this really effective, okay? There's a difference between just going through the motions where you're just like, like this, or actually doing it with some passion, okay? Rest. All right, second exercise done. 20 second break. Grab some water if you need. Oh, it's really hot in the studio today. We have football runs in five seconds. Take a wide stance. You have 40 seconds of these. So you're just jogging really quickly on the spot, wide legs. Doesn't have to be too intense. Don't make too much noise, land nice and softly. Again, you can speed this up and make it faster if you want, or you can slow it down even more. Just keep it going. Like I said, do it with passion, do it with some energy. 20 more seconds. So this particular exercise is probably the, the most uh, cardio intensive of this particular day. So next exercise that comes down a bit. Couple more seconds. Rest. Good. 20 second break. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. Enjoy your little 20 seconds. Next exercise, just to preview, we have knee in. So you're going to reach up and bring your knee up like this. Okay. So visualize grabbing someone's collar. Go. 
and damaging them. <laughs> okay, this is what it is. Okay, again, full body exercise. Okay, you're engaging your abs with this. You're getting movement in your shoulders. Slow it down if you need. Doesn't look like much of an exercise, but you will feel it, okay? On our second round, we're gonna do the other side. So stick to one side for this 40 second interval. And you're almost halfway through this workout. Rest. There you go. We're halfway. So we're gonna start back to from the beginning. So we're just jogging on the spot. When it comes. Oh no, sorry, I missed an exercise. We have one more exercise before we're halfway through. Torso punches, sorry. Okay, wide stance. And you're gonna be punching. Here we go, let's start. Now you wanna get a little bit of rotation in your core, okay? So you wanna engage these guys. Punching to each side. Again, do it like you're actually punching someone. Put some energy and power into this. There's a difference between doing this, which is nothing, and this, where you're engaging your core, you're throwing, throwing some weight around. Okay, so try to engage, engage that core. You will feel it in your abs. You should feel it in your abs a little bit. So you can, you can see I'm slightly out of breath. You should, slight, you should be about the same too. A couple more seconds. Oh, now we're halfway through. Okay, so we're back to the beginning, back to jogging on the spot. Maybe this time, if you're feeling up to it, a little bit higher in the legs, a little bit higher in the knees, a little bit more, whatever you're comfortable with. Oh, it's high summer. All right, guys, get ready for your, uh, your jogs. Here we go. So if you can, bring those, make it a little faster, bring the knees up, if you can. If you're, if you're happy with this, this is fine too, okay? Whatever feels right and good for you. Now anyone can do this, okay? Just get through it. If you're finding these exercises too easy and you are a beginner, you might be tempted to skip them or jump into something more aggressive, but I really do urge you to start with the fundamentals and build up slowly, okay? Rest. Okay, we've got our, our rest. We're back to the clapping high knees, okay? In about 15 seconds. So guys, these workouts, 10 minutes long, but so no excuses. Don't tell me you don't have time. Three seconds, here we go. We're gonna clap up, clap under your knee, up over your head, under your knee. And the workouts will progress as we go through the week and as the weeks progress, um, we are building on, on everything. And we will get you to the stage where you can eventually do some of our other challenges, which are a little bit more intensive. But start with this, do this program once, twice, um, add some weight when you're ready. Rest. Okay, we're done. Um, back to football runs. So take that wide stance, a few deep breaths. So I like to have my hands out like this, slight bend in the knees, okay, and make it nice, nice fast feet. Go. Here we go, 40 seconds. Super effective exercise. You might feel everything jiggling. That's okay. That's what you want to do. This is your own vibration machine, okay? Make your own vibration machine. 20 more seconds. If you need to take a break, you can take a break and join us again when you're ready. Ah, break time. Ah, back to knee in. So last time we did this side, we're gonna go this side this time. Okay, two more exercises and two more rounds. Two more rounds and then you're done for the day. Ah, 
preparing in three seconds. Grab that collar. Here we go. Knee ends. That's it. Bring that knee in. Stretch those arms up. We're looking for some mobility here in your shoulders as well, okay? Like I mentioned, full body exercise. So exercise isn't just about losing weight or looking a particular way. It's also about mobility of your body, making sure your body can move its full range of motion. So we're really going for a lot of that in these exercises. Less than 10 seconds left here. Last one, there you go, 20 seconds break. If you wanna make it more intense, you can continue to jog on these like breaks. You can make it like a working break. If you need to rest, by all means rest. Last exercises, last exercise, the torso punches. Take that wide stance again, mitts up. Here we go, when you're crossing over with control, keeping your core engaged, punch into each corner of the room. Again, put some weight behind it, like you mean it, like you mean it. Almost halfway through this one. You should be feeling it. You should feel some exertion here, okay? There we go, we have 10 seconds left. Keep it up. You should feel your heart. Heart rate elevated a bit. Last exercise. Ah, oh, good. So that's it, that's your cardio exercise done for the day. Um, but join us now. We have an ab burnout today, so click on the link and then let's get started on our abs. Here we go.